Uh, do, 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 do you like the stool? Is it like? Is yeah, it actually? It, it, are you doing a bit by using it, or were you? Because I, I was uh, like, no, it, it made it a lot less awkward. So I think. Was... I think. I think Spencer. Spencer deserves a little. A, a little Spencer. Boy Scout badge for that. Oh, you guys haven't met. How's it going? Spencer was the only one that thought about that because oh, that, wow. that's something that's like, oh, it's it's progress. Just put it out of your mind. Don't think about anything. Don't think yeah. about if a if a person that's a guest of yours that might yeah. have a need or something. Spencer thinks about it. Spencer. I mean, I didn't think about it at all. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I just we had uh, Steve Silberman on, and he's. Uh, I mean, he might not be offended by me saying he's a bit rotund, and he had a had a lot of trouble getting on. And so I was like, I don't know, man. These are and some also, crazy. These, these stools, stools are built for like one one butt cheek. If you're a, if you're a larger yeah, the, person, like, like like it was, yeah, we needed like a little more commodious accommodation. Sure. <laughs> All right, let's start our little person questions yes. with the big one, <laughs> the big one. Yes. Uh, Who are you voting for? <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about the the phrase "little people." Uh, yeah, you, you already um, gave me a hint. The the yeah, I. Well, as as we we talked about a little bit that um it changed in like the past thirty years from midget to dwarf to little person, and it's like going in a direction of trying to say like, hey, people that are shorter are still people, but I think when you say someone is a little person, it it's different than saying someone has dwarfism or something, you know? Right. That a and, person with it, yeah. Yeah, because it's it's like you're making that their identity. Yeah. You know, you're saying, like, that person is a dwarf. Like, that is all encompassing of his personality or her personality or that kind of thing and, like, how they define themselves as... I always play ball with this stuff yeah. because, well, I mean, it's honestly... I, I got, I'm just a chicken shit socially, so I'm, I would never, yeah. like, I, I would never deliberately... I, I, I say shit all the time. It makes people upset. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm, it's never, like, because I'm like, oh, I hope people get really upset. I just, no, it's yeah. just because, like, I have, I'm like, oh, the only chance I have of making people like me is to, like, talk. That's yeah. it. That's <laughs> like, and, and, and I know... It's like, it's, like, it's like if you were Indiana Jones and you just, like, you see the poison dart shooters and you're just... And it's, like, a mile and you're just, like... Fuck it! Like I'm not gonna. <laughs> like I, I'll get hit with a couple, and yeah. then like I'll try to find an antidote, uh, maybe, or yeah. I just like maybe, maybe there's yeah. a maybe if we just keep running, and it's just like the darts are hitting everybody. Yeah. Um, the uh, and then I get to the front, and there's the idol, and I have a bag of sand. And I'm like, I'm not gonna weigh it now. Look, I got fucking darts all over me. The darts aren't supposed to come out until. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what do you? What did you design this place? Why didn't you turn it off so I could get the idol? Um, uh, the uh, please rent Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a, it's a great film. Um, the God damn it! The um, the the so when I I, re I don't remember where I was or what year it was when the the little person thing got floated. Yeah. It w it was like and I was like okay, but it was the same. It was like. The phrase African American, I've always said, is like it really rubs me. Like it's not my job to be rubbed the right way or the wrong way. That's yeah. the thing, and then I just go like, okay, if that's what we're saying, but I think that's fucking weird yeah. because you're saying that you're in that case. It's like the thing that I think is weird about it is that, it, and I know that what they're doing is they're adding syllables, and I do understand the yeah. because it's like it's about dehumanization. Like any phrase that you can use to yeah. like make someone sound like not a someone. Yeah, like if you say someone has, has who has autism, you say, yeah, he's an autist. Like that sounds like, right. All of a like, sudden, it's I, offensive. That, yeah, then I sound like an asshole. If I yeah, say but that, if you say but, he is autistic, yeah, it's or, like or it's a little autism, like, yeah, like especially. Autism, yeah. Do you think that uh, is, is there something new on the horizon that might like that that term will evolve? I've been workshopping a couple <laughs> that I'd like to run by you. Uh, uh, and please, I, can I yes, tell them that I got the all clear? No, no I'm <laughs> the terrible desk piece that would be. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, but I don't, I don't, I mean, for me, like, I think sh in my ideal world, it would be if someone was describing how I looked and like to someone, it would be, he has dwarfism or right. he has achondroplasia, but achondroplasia is a five syllable word. And, uh, <laughs> we, we don't like saying more than three usually. So you right. know, that's, that's not very likely. Um, yeah, I mean, but, you definitely I mean, need. But, but when but someone it, says like "little person," is that is that something that kind of like no, like, it, does, it doesn't offend me at all. It's just I don't. It's just not how I. It's like it doesn't right. enter my conscience. It's like that painting how... of a ship in your bathroom <laughs> that you're, every time you pee, you're like, "Well, I, one of these days." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not ruining the house, but why? I'm not even into ships. Like, why, who bought this? <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, it's it's just like like I was saying before. It's not like a. It's not that much of. 
a prevalent part of my identity where, you know, it's it's like not something I go out into the world thinking until it's the terms used and I'm like, oh right, yeah. <laughs> and um but I mean that being said, I don't mean to I mean because other people love the term little person that have dwarfism. Other people are like, yes, because I mean this is the whole organization, little people of America and they do, you know, amazing things. They have scholarships, they because it's like when when a baby has a disability, sometimes their parents will give it up for adoption and they like do adoption coordination for people with dwarfism and that kind of thing. So uh -huh. By saying I'm not a fan of that, it's just me saying that, like, as someone who was in middle school when the, the term was changed from dwarf to middle per, little person, and I was just kind of supposed to be like, okay. Right. <laughs> that, yeah. that, that's what I am now. Right, 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 out, right out to the playground with all these Winston Churchills, these yeah. fucking, these professional diplomats in the yeah. making that, that are real good at handling this kind of thing. Well, but, I mean, it's just I didn't get a choice in, like, how right. it's just, like, that's... What I am now, and did you I go mean, to uh, like a public school or private school? Yeah, kid? I was in a public middle school. I was actually also the only white kid in my middle school, so that was <laughs> well, that was kind of like interesting. A, you fucking you doubled down. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and, and I and I was the only guy with long curly hair, played the violin, and loved Pokemon yeah. and had yeah. Pokemon too. Yeah. So I was yeah, just like, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Make, making fun of you was like like two like a fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, hey, you could. They could have just picked violin. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, that no. would have been enough. There, there's like a plethora of things they could. Have. That's great. You should have also just put a fake unicorn horn <laughs> yeah. and just and just just <laughs> fucked up like six thousand black kids, <laughs> like, like who just would go out into the world and go. I I swear though, I swear. <laughs> 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 I, I, <laughs> I'm not racist, and I'm also I'm not. I don't believe in magic, but God damn it! We, but I uh, guess I guess that's not, that's not a joke uh, you can even uh, uh, propose in the post-internet era. I was yeah. like, like, like I, I, I yeah, I, um, I, I was, I, I went to, I was probably one of, and people think I'm exaggerating when I say this, but I have, I have photos of my eighth grade graduation, like where it's mm -hmm. like c comically and delightfully uh, uh, evident. I, I was like one of, like I would say. In a 2,000 kid junior high, I was probably I, th I think like one of 20 uh, white kids. Uh, okay. we, we, we there was a thing in Milwaukee, which is like NPR just talked about being one of the most segregated cities in the in the country. There's just like, this effort to like like you know they try to like try to try to desegregate in both directions. Try to like so they had a computer specialty program. Yeah. They had two Apple two E's in the basement of an inner city uh, <laughs> middle school. So that so that I would come in and 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 learn to you know program in basic like in the in the in the basement of this place and like like you know this like very naive but well intended like attempt to like something's wrong and we got to like take a proactive uh, step. But I what, what I noticed from that experience is that I as I've said before, black people are not racist, uh, white people are yeah. <laughs> because I then <laughs> went to a high school where it was flipped and it was like we were fucking horrible and I was like I never got beat up for being white. I never got I got I. Never never got like there was never any jokes there was never any dehumanization at all it was yeah. never nobody like made me nobody like wanted to party with me yeah. like <laughs> i was a nerd but i was i did not i, I was no, not yeah. like i did not feel <laughs> fucking inhibited or anything like that no. I, this is a fucking I, this where, is a, where I, was your school colin what, what um, part of the it was in uh, southern maryland like near dc area it, was it was it like was it rough was it was it fun uh, for you or bad or is it it wasn't fun <laughs> i mean the you know the aforementioned Pokemon and violin kind of <laughs> saw to that, but um, it was. I mean, like, I, like when you're saying you like you didn't get bullied for being white, like I never got really bullied, but I did get like kids would accuse me of like getting favoritism or something right. because, um, you know, like the teacher was white and I was white, and then there was you know like I I would do my work sometimes, and then like other kids would do their work too, but then like they, I don't know, it was, but I mean. That's not. I realize that sounds like the most elitist thing to say. Like I was accused of favoritism. For no, me. I mean that's. <laughs> that, I, do, do, you I, think, I, do you think it actually could have, in maybe some even tiny way, white privilege or no? Like that was just. Like, I mean, if the teacher I, was I, white, I didn't sure. know enough about it, to, and right. my memories of that time are. Because that would be amazing like if that, that that's 12. how strong white privilege runs. That, like, I mean, it may dude, well be. I don't know. Is. It does. It does. White people yeah. are fucking racist. That's what yeah. we're good at. Yeah. Like, we're yeah. really good at it. We're yeah. naturally we, we have, have a, a lot gift of practice <laughs> for racism. I know it's like like like, like I don't I, no I want, I'm not, I make that joke all the time, but it's like I, I don't think it's genetic, but I think it's fucking really really strong the momentum because I have been in, in 
I've observed these situations in a pre-internet world, so now there's a whole new generation. But at this moment, there's you know that this shit to that toxic like still yeah. is has tendrils, even yeah. though we're now all talking to each other and sharing stories and everything's very verbose. But like in my growing up, I saw every kind of configuration you could see, and I remember noticing. I was like, that that guy is being really mean to that guy. Like this person has all the power. And there, and I, and the reverse of it, like I had in that in that school I mentioned, like all of my teachers were black, and I felt the I felt the the reverse like yeah. uh, thing, and I was I was like good, like I deserve it. Like, yeah. I was like I was like that self loathing already yeah. as a kid. I was just like I get it, man. I'm yeah. surrounded by kids who are there's fucking like this shitty like they're they're 12 years old and they're writing like uh with, on, with magic marker like they're they're in, being indoctrinated. We all were into like yeah. gang culture. Like I knew how to beatbox by uh, 11 years old and because <laughs> and I knew how to like write the right gang signs and stuff. And it was like this if you're a teacher and you've bothered to like dedicate your life to like molding minds and you see that happening on the way out the door of your school, you're going to get mad and you're going, you're only human too. So when the white kid raises his hand for every question, you're going to start treating him like a piece of shit. And I was like, yeah. like, 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 and being like, why don't you fucking cool it, nerd? Yeah. And like, 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 like yeah. t- 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 hit the showers. If I, like, 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 see if I can work some magic yeah. here. And I was like, I was like, yeah, I get it. I get it. I've seen enough yeah. movies about this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just wouldn't raise my hand. I, I just like, I just, and, well, I mean, also, I didn't like putting attention on myself to begin with, because I mean, when when I'd like, some from about six through, I'd say probably fourteen, when I started going to high school, um, you know, it was like, and I didn't realize this because as a kid, you're just kind of focused on yourself. But I mean, everyone gets bullied and that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But for me, it seemed like disproportionate, right? You know, because like that's I, no pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> if you guys can't handle that, I, uh, you're gonna hate what he's about to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, the bullying was disproportionate. No, but you said yourself. You said you said like you always felt like. Uh, like, there was there was favoritism, but but or, 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 accusations or suspicions of favoritism, and you said you didn't actually get bullied. So like the like exp- uh, well, like I mean like, like I was I was bullied like not not for being white, just like for being short. Right. Like, that was you know because I mean I look different. People don't like difference when there had to be jokes and, behind your back. And, oh yeah. And behind I mean, your I back heard most never of works. Them. Yeah. Yeah. No. But I mean they weren't clever. No. <laughs> they were just like pointing out like that like literally just like you're short and it's like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Or you know, like I, it's like your head's large, yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> my just... brain is bigger than yours. Like, like, if, 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 if your brain was my size, you wouldn't be saying that bullshit. <laughs> now, so so then that takes us to your choice to become an actor. <laughs> yeah, stellar. <laughs> <laughs> Hitched your um, wagon to the yeah, star that uh, no, the, but it's like the it, one career that's based on my looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you think like where how much of it is like just a passion for acting, and how much of it is like man first of all i got calluses all over that part of my brain you know like i I can take a punch like yeah or or, or, like i mean part of it's me i mean i'm sure ever since a kid i've always like whenever people said you can't do something i've always wanted to say you know well fuck you i i'm going to like because i mean doctors still don't know a lot about (laughs) dwarfism because it's a relatively recent thing and it's um i just looked up the figure while i was backstage and there's like maybe even less than what I'd estimate, there's like 35,000 people oh, okay. in the U.S. I love that you're the one Googling, and then I just bring you out and go, hey, how does it feel to be small? <laughs> Google it, motherfucker. Wait, 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 Colin, <laughs> you said there's, there's less than 35,000 people with dwarfism in the U.S.? Uh, yeah, I think Yeah, that you was, said 100,000 of the... Yeah, that was a very much less than, I mean, Even that, 100,000 seems very low. Like, yeah, uh, I mean, it's it's just not that prevalent of a thing. It's, really, it's just it, not is, that... Because it's, it's one in every like, around... 40,000 births. Really? Yeah. Is there is that is there any like like looking back through history of like is it is it has it been the same throughout history? Has it gone up and down or do we, um, do we even know that? Well, I mean historically I mean people were babies were kind of killed a lot when ah, they had right. differences that were yeah, and, uh, yeah. kind of like that. So it, and also record keeping wasn't Yeah, uh, yeah, that would be mean, hard, but hard. actually like some in some cultures like I I'm going to be wrong, so I'm not even going to attempt to say which one it was. But there's, like, paintings and stuff where you see people with dwarfism in very highly respected positions, like, you know, 
because like you're saying with the whole brain thing like they were thought to be more intelligent that kind of thing uh, in some cultures but in you know spartan and stuff they would kill them yeah so that people left you know, that were left-handed were killed too yeah yeah it didn't yeah, take yeah. a whole lot <laughs> you no, know, like, no. they're just like look there, like, there uh, a, like are, are, are we a society or are we a, a, an emotion workshop yeah, or, or do we yeah. or, or do we love freckles yeah. this, guy, this guy uses this guy needs special scissors i say uh yeah. cheaper to feed the dogs <laughs> uh yeah, I mean, yeah. well, that's a, I mean, that's a really fascinating thing about humanity too, is that we live in this like first world empire where we, I think, among the many assumptions that we don't know we're making, um, mm -hmm. is that morality, like um, particularly interhuman uh, morality, uh, it, it's not like genetic; it's not born into you. It, that doesn't make it not valuable. Like we have yeah. this like misconception that like it's, it's like the, the the really uncomfortable truth is that human beings are designed to survive wherever you might happen to drop them like, like and that is so if you are living in a society that is hateful mm -hmm. you will not use the word hateful to to describe the thing that's hateful you'll use the word normal to yeah. describe the word hateful um if you're a spartan for is the example i always use because they had this like really historically documented incredibly specific society where you got killed apparently for being left-handed it's like the kids growing up in that world, they weren't like, like, man, this is fucked up. Like, like, like I'm sure some of them yeah. were, and then they got killed because that's yeah. worse than being left-handed. They were, yeah. but, but they weren't like, 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 Heresy, like people yeah. didn't go to bed and, and like sweat and like have acid reflux and go to a therapist and go, I can't figure it out. And they're like, well, you're a Spartan and you're supposed to be living in Wisconsin in 2016, uh, where where everything's very enlightened. Oh, thanks, Doc. Uh, I'll move there right away. It, yeah. the, the therapist was a Spartan and said, you should have your head cut off. Uh, and my job shouldn't exist because this is Sparta. Um, the, the, it, 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 we, and we need to acknowledge that not because we need to hate ourselves more. We need to be proud of the fact that we're able to adapt to anything. But we need to, I think we need to, like, like that, the illusion that we have some inborn sense of right and wrong is, yeah. is, is, is as dangerous as... The other thing that 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 is it's this illusion that if you say the right combination of words, you can you can make everything better. And I yeah. that whoever smelt the dealt it rule, yeah. um, because now and then we're talking. I'm a I'm a writer and a producer talking to an actor, mm -hmm. and so like you were just telling me in the green room, like you were uh, like. Obviously, any like you said, you just went out for your first part that was like that had nothing to do with your. Well, stature. well, not my first, but like it's been, and part of that's due to my agent being one of you know she's she's cool with sending me out for anything that you know young twenties ish. The casting director. Yeah, yeah. Well, my or your agent. My agent is. Um, but I've been getting called in a, a few more times recently for stuff that's not exclusively for a little person or that kind of thing, and. Because like, when you see a breakdown, like as an actor, yeah. it'll say all, all ethnicities, all yeah. shapes and sizes, and they don't really. I mean, no, I, they don't. Mean they don't that. fucking <laughs> mean that. because the, because the writer wrote it and said uh, she's tall, she's uh, she's nerdy, hot, right? Yeah. You know, and like, like they go, doesn't know it. Submit all ethnicities. Like you, like you said, blonde five times in that in yeah. that description. <laughs> right. Like I mean, they're, they're saying that the, the corporation has to say yeah. that, and I think there is. I was I was about to ask the same question that Dan just asked you. Do you are you seeing any opening up of that gate to the, with them actually meaning such things when they say that? Well, I think the the fact that I'm even getting in the room now is speaks to something is because you know with the age of technology and stuff, you can look at someone's entire thing without ever meeting them. Right. And you know, I don't pretend to know what goes on in casting offices. I've never been in, a, in like on that side, but I feel like. You know, once you look at someone's reel and you're like, all right, they're very clearly not what we're looking for. It helps you narrow down. But hopefully, yeah, now they can, yeah. it can come down to essentially what the character needs to be as opposed yeah. to what they thought the, yeah. the, the silhouette of that person needed to be. And I feel like as more young, well, not young writers, but like writers that are more open-minded and that kind of thing become in positions of power where they can, um, you know, like, create shows and that kind of thing. That, By the way, it'll have to be young writers because uh, 
ironically, if you're over 50, you're not allowed to be a writer. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. like, not, not, not like on a staff. Like I've run up against that where it's like there's the, well, there was a lawsuit, a class action lawsuit about ageism in writing room, writing rooms. I just thought it was. Really? I just wanted to dip that in because oh, the, yeah. the layers of irony of that like <laughs> I, I didn't know that it actually. will be a young writer. It won't be an old writer because oh. old, old writers are sitting at home going fuck society. They fucking. <laughs> Tell um, me, so like, like, yeah, I know yeah. why you didn't hire me. Yeah. Um, the, the, I, I, it, it will start with writers, and I, I, yeah. I know this firsthand, and it's also like important for me to say this is a 180 degree point of view, 180 degree yeah. from when I was your age. Yeah. Um, when I was your age, I was unemployed. I wanted to be the best writer in the world. I wanted to save the universe with my words, mm -hmm. and I was also, without realizing it, I was just like the voice of like you know, holding things back because I would get my Writers Guild magazine, which was being printed with the money that I didn't have. And it was like, I broke my tooth last month, but because I didn't do a rewrite on a Beetlejuice cartoon this month, I can't get it fixed. And and the money's going to like this glossy magazine and every, you know, I open my mailbox and there's always some smiling, ugly face looking at me that's a successful writer. And I was like, who's this peanut-headed fucking, oh, it's Joss Whedon. Okay. I... <laughs> Uh, in fact, well, what did he do that's so great? Uh, I traded Buffy. Okay, well, what else, though? All right, all right everything. All right, fine, fine. Thank God. <laughs> then I won't read your magazine. What? What? We're called writers. Why are you making us read shit? Um, but then when, I, when I would look through that magazine... Writers hate reading. I, uh, well, one of the one of the one of the bookmarks I have in my head of the 180 degree Harmon as a uh, politically as a writer mm -hmm. is throwing literally throwing one of those WGA magazines across the room because I had just looked at this um, sidebar item that was like called a report card about diversity in writers' rooms or something like that, mm -hmm. and I I saw the words and I didn't even see the content and I just threw it. And it, I, it was, I was doing it. People think that the that the white people that are doing that are doing it because they're racist. Uh, they, like, like it, it, they're they're doing it because they're they're they they're pro it's derived from privilege. But it's a combination of that and like fucking like underdog syndrome. Everybody's an underdog. So like, I was like. I'm the best writer in this fucking city, and the union that represents me is 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 spending money and attention on a competition between who can hire more people that have different shaped hats uh, than who is the best writer. And I, I, when I would say that, I would imagine a chorus of super talented black writers behind me going, "Fucking go, man!" Because I I don't want I don't want any fucking handouts, and I want to be a good writer. I, like I want to be known for my writing too. That was. Deluded, the difference is I had to become a showrunner. I had to be in charge of hiring. I had to have a stack of scripts on my desk and be like, oh, oh, Harvard, Yale, Harvard, Yale, Harvard, Yale, and be like, 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 oh, there's a systemic thing and this cycle needs to be broken at any point along the chain, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. So, like, like the new thing now, the bleeding edge of this is like, like, oh, it's like I just finished a script with. Chris McKenna, who like effectively ran Community Five and Six with me, and was like the reason why Community is good. Um, we because we're old white men who are like in the twilight of our efficacy and just want to like we want to write another good one, you know, and and like do everything right from square one. We're like writing this script together, and we're having all these conversations, going like, how do you like? Okay, is it possible to write a gender neutral character? Um, so far, it turns out the answer is no. <laughs> like this, one, there's. I mean, I, there's, it, it's possible to write a transgender character. It's not possible to to like leave it up to the casting director without the script reading like toothpick instructions. I like, like uh, it's uh, like like pronouns are fucking endemic to moving the action. <laughs> like, like like there's a way. I I'll try to get more talented, but like ultimately, what I ended up doing is going this character when introducing the character. This character can be any gender. Um, we're gonna call him a he to fucking get the script finished. Uh, <laughs> like, 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 but it's gen it's a gender neutral character. What's important is their age. Sometimes what's important is their age. It's important that they're in their twenties because of the the dynamic that they'll have with the person in their forties, um, depending on the the situation. Uh, we 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 talked the entire time. I, mean, I have a point to all of this. Uh, <laughs> we talked the entire time. Is like you know these like noble minded fucking like like middle aged white writers were going like, how do you accomplish this? What do you do? 
like like and we kept the thing that we kept saying uh, that having this like weird debate about was like okay there's this this buffoon in the script it's the michael scott figure it's like the he's the guy that you love to feel bad for or slash hate he's got the foot in his mouth you know like we we would have endless conversations like like it's like can that we know that can be a woman if the actor is 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 the right actor can, ultimately though as a com, as a comedian as a comedic writer who worships at this altar that is so much higher is there a craft that you're betraying even by five percent in the interest of like progress or anything should that buffoon is it is it is it an extra five percent funnier if he's a straight white male is it does it go down five percent for the sake of progress if your buffoon for instance is uh, is is a woman and and the answer we never we we very happily like never came up with an answer yeah. so we just were like okay let's just keep thinking of this guy we work with and using him as like in our heads and like let's just make sure when we get if we start to get a, a pickup we gotta we gotta fight this battle in casting we gotta say. Yeah. Get Kristen Wiig in here and see if she can like do this like Michael Scott character. Yeah, you wish, asshole. Uh, the the uh, no, I wasn't. I, I have I, oh, okay. I make no eye contact and said you wish, asshole, to myself. You uh, thought okay, there was so. an asshole. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the um, so here's the last part of my story. That's a cautionary tale for the future because it's it's still it's up to writers and it's fucking like I was on the phone because th- we turned in the script and they're like this is awesome. Let's get on the phone and talk about what actors to give this to. And I'm like, holy shit, this has never happened. Um, like, oh my God, I can't believe we're talking about this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and this white guy and this white guy and this white guy and this white guy. And I didn't even, it was like 40 minutes into the fo- the conference call and I was like looking at headshots and I was like, this is a blizzard of <laughs> talent. A very talented blizzard. <laughs> I, I, it's, I am. I am. My cup runneth over with ruds and uh, and 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 uh, uh, like and, and and I and then I I had to like 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 I, I'm not I'm not telling this story because I'm any kind of hero in it. I'm telling the story as a as a as a like because I was so fu- I forgot I fucking forgot until halfway through the conversation and then I was like oh yeah yeah, yeah wait wait and then I was like I was I was like what, we we you guys know right like have we ever had this conversation like 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 is this something that's unspoken casting directors have to run their thing like a target they have to know where the where the big shirts are and the small shirts and the dark shirts and the checkered shirts they have to if they don't know that they're part of their job as a casting director not the whole job they're doing it wrong they have to be like a wholesaler of of corporeal humanity oh you want a little person i got i know a fucking great actor who's a little person um, you want the word little person to change? I, it's out of my jurisdiction. Uh, the, but the other, and, and the other part of their job is, is like curating talent and going like, no, I'm not going to send you a little person who's also a hack and all this shit. And also hopefully going like, look, you said this character, it can be anything. I, uh, I, I, I'm sending you the the most like 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 the, 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 the best actors I have, my favorites. They, like that's what cast good casting directors do. They they already do that. It starts the the important thing that starts with the writer as much as it's, 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 the writer has to be like if you in TV they have to be like you, you're gonna think of like fucking white people from your neighborhood if you don't if, if you don't like but like, like Dan like uh, the switch. if I'm interrupting you like and do you want to keep uh, please, going you're interrupting me and you're a hero for it it's like, <laughs> you're, no it's like, the blue wire the blue wire <laughs> but like. For instance, the Abed character. You knew a guy named Abed. We are we, our, our friend, uh, the real Abed, who is uh, is he was he Iraqi, Ar- Iranian? What, what is what is Abed? He's, he's 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 Arabic, he's, Ar- Arabic uh, ha- half Arabic, uh, half like Swedish or something. Yeah, uh, but, and, and he is you know on on some part of the spectrum and whatever. And you wrote this interesting character, and you said like, I'm basing it on this person. I felt like it was important the regionality. Yeah, but, well, Danny, but Danny Pudi came in, who's Indian, yeah, half yeah, but, Indian, half but, Polish. But, but, but then, but that's that's a, maybe possibly a step in a direction. You said like like because your circle of friends stopped being uh, white dudes from Milwaukee and then white dudes from Los Angeles, whatever. Like you started to have a bigger group of friends. You meet Colin. You meet more women. You meet people that like like you can start writing as a writer and say 
um, I'm writing this around an actual person that you should meet, and then not that it needs to even be that person at the at the end of the day when when they when they cast it and when they make the show, but you start like focusing in like on saying like um, the reason why we're doing this is not randomly trying to be diverse. We're writing this because I hung out at a bar with Colin, and the, the character doesn't have to be. Uh, I have dwarfism. The, the, um, I just think it's way funnier. Like, because I've met him and I talked to him, and there's an essential quality here. Well, that... this is a lazy answer, but it's like when when it's if 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 what you're doing is really specific, uh, as in that example, then go with God and do that. Use that technique. I wrote this for my uh, small friend Colin. I had a conversation with him, and I have this vision of this character, even though there's no mention of it in the script. Like, I it's important. Blah blah blah. Good, definitely go ahead do that. I, I'm talking about the other side of it is when you don't have those specific thoughts yeah, yeah, yeah. and you are picturing either yourself or um, <laughs> Steve Carell, uh, <laughs> you aren't doing anything wrong. You're just not doing a thing that if writers don't do it, like especially writer producers, you're, 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 you're doing what's very comfortable for you. You're trying to get the script sold. You should you're think of Steve Carell while you write it, but you should ask yourself, you should go through your script and go, how many of these jokes are based on him like uh, like uh oh here it is like they need an extra bounce card but then the complexion of his face like reflects the sun like there is nothing there's no bits like that like it doesn't matter what it doesn't you you but you should picture steve carell because you're picturing like this funny person or this with the person all these quirks but then you have to say like to the casting director like and and the network and the studio you have to go like we gotta like put we gotta exercise a muscle that's like not atrophied, whatever the word is, when it's like not even used. We have to, we have to, we have to start doing crunches with this muscle, where we make sure that we're bring the, the the that it's like a a cattle call, and all the cows like are coming in. Colin, how often, like, yeah. how many times, like, or percentage wise, when you go in for casting, is it specific to who you are and what you look like, or how often is it not? Like, do you feel like it's honestly like they're open for seeing you, like, because they're really, you know. It's like a uh, probably seventy percent. It's usually because of my size, thirty thirty right. ish. Recently, well, I'm, like, I'm I'm surprised it's, it's actually seventy thirty. Like I yeah. would have thought worse than that, but that's yeah. I mean, like I mean, my type's not called for that much. So I mean, it's not like it, it would be skewed if like that type mm -hmm. was called for a lot do you, more. Do, do you feel some sort of like movement in that direction? Like, do you feel like it's like slowly yeah. shifting into a more? Yeah, even... I think it's it's for everyone. I mean, honestly, like right. you know, for people of different ethnicities, for for different genders, for you know, different like gender identities. If and we that had kind a, of thing. if we had a, like, a, an actor up here that was black and had dwarfism, what, what would, he, would he be like? Yeah, you you fucking think you have it better? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah. Honestly, I've never. Yeah. That, well, that whole mediocre superpowers the question we're always asking ourselves man if I could conjure a <laughs> well, <laughs> and, and we were talking about this a little bit before I don't know if you remember but like how a friend of mine once told me that I am both privileged and not privileged at the same time which to be fair like when I'm walking around the streets in New York cops like smile right they they they, 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 they nod and like they, they say they some of them say hi and what, what about Chicago? I've never been to Chicago. Yeah, don't go there. Really, don't I, go there. I've never, I've I've but never it, not wanted a uh, little person, black uh, person, to to be around me. But I've never no. wanted it more than right now because yeah. I'm so fat. I want to know, like, if yeah, he, if I, he would say, uh, like, like, oh yeah, cops. Like, I have no idea. Like, I I wouldn't know, and I'm not about to speculate. Yeah. So. I, I, <laughs> I mean, it's just because I'm I'm not in a position to say because I mean I would never. You know, like because it could go either way. Yeah, it's like the cops are smiling yeah. at you because they're just like, God, finally a stress-free encounter just for so you know, that. Like, they, like they, ne they don't think I'm capable or would do anything until like, the first day. You know, ISIS will, you know, yeah. a, 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 a yeah. little terrorist will. I think. You know, was, was there a story? I think I remember now, seeing how, a storyline about is it, that. Is it, is it uh, ISIS sure. that you're offended for? <laughs> <laughs> I always uh, sometimes no, I just want to check in about. with you guys. <laughs> I mean, I would be offended if ISIS was trying to capitalize on, like, being an undiversity. Yeah. Like, like, like they thought that was going to make them more likable. And, 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 and then ISIS eventually would have more diversity than Paramount. <laughs> uh, like, that would be oh my God, look fucking at this. amazing. Did you, guys, did you guys see who crashed that bus into that fucking school? 
mean, was, th- there was like little. It was people, a transgender. Was uh, <laughs> if I, like, had it, it covered. If, if I, yeah, I mean, if ISIS's only goal was to was to win, <laughs> to blow our minds, fucking <laughs> hit us where not our wallets, because we'll, you know we'll, we'll we'll bail out corporations if they go bankrupt. Like, you can you can destroy as much shit as you want, but hit us hit us where we're fucking thinking we're actually proud of ourselves. <laughs> like ha- have a have a bunch of beautiful post feminist naked women like 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 just yeah. blow some shit up and and be like yeah I I accept my sexuality I have agency and I love ISIS. <laughs> Uh, this, right. this is my friend, the African American. Sorry, I'm sorry. What African Syrian uh, uh, little person? He uh, he fucking loves ISIS too. Colin, for me, uh, I, I'm going to answer the question. I'm going to ask you first because if, mm-hmm. if, if uh, I, I've never, I've always wanted to be as an actor. I, I want to be in a western. I want to be on a horse. Mm-hmm. I want to be running, like riding fast on a horse and shooting a Remington. And like yeah. I want to be like in a western. Yeah. I love westerns. What if you could be any role? Like, do you, do you have like, like, what, like, like, any character or style or genre that you'd like to be in? Um, honestly, I, I think that what would make the strongest. I mean, like, what I would want to do is probably like not something that just a role that honestly just demonstrates an aspect of my humanity. No, I mean, yeah, is, I mean, like, like, I mean, like, it, it like could be probably in the world, you know, yeah. comedic. It's probably something comedic, but like, you know, in in the way that kind of. Broad City's doing where it's turning the, you know, how men treat women on its head and that kind of thing. And, yeah. and it's like pointing out how stupid the comments that men make towards women are. And by like, and there's this, um, uh, you know, the Cyrano, Cyrano de Bergerac, the, how he's, how he's, how someone calls him big nose and then he comes up with all these more clever things that they should say. Right. And it would ideally be something like that where That's... it's, where it's like turning in, um, one of my friends actually like because he's going through something similar because he was like um, he's he's trying to succeed as an actor and he's black and he, and we and he he makes height jokes towards me and I make black jokes towards him and we have so, to we have to get Demorge out here we gotta get Demorge out here <laughs> D- Dan and, just had a partial orgasm here <laughs> it's it's dehuman dehumanization palooza yeah. um, I, I, this is Demorge's and, favorite thing he'll be brought out as a representative yeah. of. <laughs> Of his race, but, he loves I mean, that. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I mean, like, I mean, he'll make. I mean, like, we we can with you know some jokes that like other people can make, and if it's okay, I'd like to you know share a couple of those. You know, like like if someone like he was saying, someone could say, "Grow up," <laughs> and um, that one went over your head and that kind of thing. And, uh, but it's just it's just like more clever turns of phrases like that that are just not used. Because it, it's just easy to make the obvious jokes and that kind of thing. Yeah, but, but you can talk shit with your friends and yeah. like and like so like if you and I get like like we're closer friends like like mm-hmm. we we could you could like diss me on what like anything any any flaw in my personality or anything I did that night. It's like it's fun to fire yeah. off at each yeah. other. And I mean because, I because there's 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 equality yeah. in yeah. in fun joking you know trash yeah. talk. It's great. Yeah. Yeah, well, once you're familiar, once you get bored with shit, that's what that's what progress is. Yeah. Basically, it's like 